to the Queen of Cups, but they can't deny their feelings. You can't deny your feelings, Scorpio. To the Tower. This is upheaval and chaos in your life. Upheaval and chaos. Hence, right here. This is an epiphany, an awakening. This just rocks your world. The awakening that you do have feelings for this Queen of Wands and you do want to explore a relationship with this Queen of Wands. High Priestess. It's a tower moment in your spiritual growth, Scorpio. It's a tower moment in your spiritual growth. And you're like, oh my God. Wow. Why didn't I see this before? Maybe you weren't ready. Maybe they weren't ready. Divine orchestration, right, Scorps? Divine orchestration. Now is the time. Now and only now is the time. The high priestess following your intuition in your heart of hearts and your soul of souls. You have had a tower moment about your feelings for the queen of wands. Three of hey, Scorpio. It's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. What's up? What are you guys doing? How's everybody doing? I hope every freaking Scorpio out there is beyond amazing. Beyond amazing. Made it through Thanksgiving. Woohoo! Hope everybody's happy, healthy. Hope you didn't let the old fam get on your nerves too bad. All right, Scorpio. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dana. This is Deep Thoughts with Dana. I swear, I smoke, um, I sometimes make sexually explicit comments. And if any of that bothers you, you need to go that way real quick. Okay? All right. <clears throat> this is Dana. I am Dana. This is Deep Thoughts with Dana. I call it Tarot for Thinking Minds because most of the people who subscribe to my channel understand that this is a general reading, a general reading for your zodiac sign based on the planetary placement. How this reading will affect your life individually is only determined through either A, experiencing it, or B, getting your cards read by somebody that you trust, okay? If you need wisdom, guidance, understanding, or anything else from anything that's about to unfold right here, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. And there's lots of good tarot card readers out there. It is the best money you will ever spend to actually have your own cards read. Okay. All right. General reading for the sign of Scorpio. I've already shuffled all my cards and everything like that. You're just going to have to trust me. All right. <clears throat> the way this is going to work is I'm going to shuffle. I'll pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify it and we will sew together a story. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Spirit. Whoa. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Scorpio with me. And Spirit, Scorpio wants to know what you know. Spirit, what do you know about Scorpio and what does Scorpio need to know? What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, Spirit, please continue to arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen in these cards in order to bring Scorpio the messages that they need to know. Spirit, what is the overall theme of the planetary position in the zodiac sign of Scorpio? Please continue to arrange yourself. Please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them as well. Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear. I'm going to cut three times and pull straight off the top. Let's cut one. You know what? They're not ready. I knew they weren't ready. When I decided to stop, I knew I should have kept going, but I didn't. So Spirit, tell me, false start there, sorry. Spirit, tell me when. Tell me when. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring Scorpio the information that they need to know and understand. Spirit, tell me when. Tell me when. Just tell me when. Spirit, tell me when. Spirit, tell me when. Whoa. Tell me when. Okay. All right. All right. I gotcha. All right. Let's 
cut three times and see what we get. Maybe we can get a good one this time. Ready? One, two, three. Beautiful. Even cut. Nice. Two of wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Fear of the unknown. All right. First card out. The Prince of Pentacles. Can you guys see that okay? Let me see. Let me adjust it up here. Let's see. Scooch these guys over. So, okay. So the Prince of Pentacles, this is the future. It is looking into the future. It's wondering what your future is going to look like. Planning. The Emperor taking control of your life. The Eight of Cups, disappointment, abandonment. Strength in reverse, insecure, inner strength. The Moon, repressed emotions, intuition, subconscious mind, not seeing something clearly. To the Ten of Cups in Reverse, Breakup, Broken Home, Broken Family. The Five of Swords, Win at All Costs, Mind Games, games Betrayal, Deception. Ten of Swords in Reverse in the center of the reading, an inevitable ending or some kind of regeneration. The Lovers in Reverse, Breakup, uh, Misalignment of Values. The Fool in Reverse, Foolishness, Recklessness. The Queen of Swords, some kind of truth. The Ace of Cups, feelings. The Star, hope, faith, purpose, renewal. The Nine of Cups in reverse, emotional dissatisfaction. Ace of Wands in reverse, lacking ambition or focus. Four of Cups in reverse, stubborn, apathetic. The Queen of Cups, feelings. The Tower, explosion. The Empress, someone. The Prince of Wands in reverse, frustrations, delays. The King of Swords, some truth. The Prince of Cups, feelings. And the Page of Pentacles, manifesting something. All right, we're going to take up to that too. All right, <clears throat> okay, let's clarify. Let's use these. I haven't used these for a couple readings. All right, what do we got going on here, Spirit? Scorpio, how the hell are you, Scorpio? Welcome to my house. Pull up a chair, kick back. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke on. And let's dive in and see what the heck is going on here, Scorpio. What's going on? Let's take a sneak peek into your situation. Oh, no. I didn't reload before I sat down. Hold on. All right. If you don't like this, just look the other way right now. All right, the Prince of Pentacles, right? This is slow, steady, stable. You're looking for you're looking for your future right here, Scorpio. Anything you want to say about the Prince of Pentacles spirit? Anything you want to say? Yep, looking for the looking towards the future, looking to be successful, looking for uh, teamwork, collaboration, right? Looking at your future to the Emperor. Oops, my bad. Four of Cups. Contemplating, reevaluating your future. The Emperor, this is you. Um, this is you assessing your life. The Emperor is about the authority, the establishment, the control that we have over our kingdom, right? And Scorpio sitting on the throne, assessing the kingdom, looking down and saying, what do I want my future to look like? What do I want my future to look like? Eight of Cups, because I'm kind of disappointed in the way that things are right now. I am. Look, Nine of Cups in reverse. I'm emotionally dissatisfied. To the Eight of Cups, again, second time. I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm not happy where I am. I'm not. Look, the Ten of Wands. I'm experiencing burden and struggle that I don't think that I need to really carry with me. The Three of Wands. Having some foresight, looking into the future, really looking into the future because what I'm doing right now isn't working for me and it's not what I want the rest of my life to look like. That's what you're saying right here, Scorpio. Strength in reverse. Pulling on those inner reserves because I feel like there's some decisions that you have to make 
in order to get to where you want to go, you have to pull on some inner reserves with the moon card, right? Your subconscious mind, your intuition, really feeling your way through because you have some, look, oh my God, I can't, I hope that caught in that camera. I cannot make this shit up. Judgment um, just came out, right? There is a huge decision that you need to make, a huge decision, lovers in reverse, and it's about parting ways with someone or some kind of significant relationship. Could be work so far. So far it could be, oh, look at that, ha, huh, two of cups. Um, I, think, I think your decision is to have to, is to leave one relationship to begin another. Maybe, let's see how it goes. But you're in the moon energy, right? The moon energy. Really, really, really thinking about things. Processing emotions. Look, the five of swords in reverse, open to change. Interesting. Now, of course, I'm going to I'm going to clarify all of this and I'm going to go back up to the top and read it fluid, okay? You can skip through this if you want to. There'll be a timestamp over here somewhere over here. And um you can skip through this if you want to. No offense, I don't care if you don't like to hear see me channel. It's fine. But I'm going to go through, I'm going to clarify this and then we'll go back and read it, okay? 10 of cups in reverse. Broken home, broken family, knight of wands in reverse because you don't want it to the nine of swords, but yet you're really, you're really struck in with the nine, with the nine of swords, right? Lots of anxiety, the seven of swords, betrayal, deception to the five of swords, betrayal, deception, win at all costs, the moon in reverse, dealing with these repressed emotions. So what is it that's going on here? What a crossroads? Oh, I see at a crossroads. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. I'm going to put that like that so I can see it in a minute so I can remember that. All right. Right on, right on, right on, right on. Living a lie. Okay. The 10 of swords in reverse. Tell me about this. Tell me about the 10 of swords in reverse, please. In the center of Scorpio's reading, the 10 of swords in reverse. What is this about? What is this about? What is the Ten of Swords in Reverse about? An inevitable ending? Or is this regeneration of some sort? Oh. King of Swords to the Queen of Wands. You got another woman on your mind, Scorpio. Another woman on your mind, huh? Making a decision that you want to uh that you want to resurrect something with someone from your past. Look, but the Six of Swords, you got to take a, a, a transition away from where you're at right now. Mm -hmm. The Lovers in Reverse, uh, Misalignment of Values, um, a Breakup, the Fool in Reverse, Foolish, Justice in Reverse, and Injustice. Queen of Swords says the truth is, Ace of Cups, that you have feels. Truth is, Ace of Cups, that you have feels. Look at this, look at this, the injustices that you were denying, and this is the manifestation. Wow, Scorpio, wow. We got a flipper right here. What do we got? Ha, the magician fucking manifestation. I love it, I love it. Oh, Scorpio, you crack me up, okay. The hanged man, I'm sorry, nine of cups in reverse, emotional dissatisfaction, the ace of wands in reverse, a lack of motivation, the hanged man in reverse, resistance, delays, seven of pentacles, reflecting and thinking. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Whoa. They sure are. Oh, no, I'm going to pull my cord. Hold on. I got to take this off to get those cards. Hold on. <laughs> Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Ten of Swords, ending, temperance in reverse. Uh, needs to happen. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Actually, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. When I picked these up off the ground, they were in the upright, and then I, with the microphone and everything, I they're in the upright. Okay, so Ten of Swords in reverse, resurrecting, temperance, uh, being tempered. The Four of Cups in reverse, talking about um, 
stubborn. The Queen of Cups, stubborn, maybe coming to terms with your feelings, maybe stubborn in your feelings. To the Tower, upheaval and chaos. Let's see what this is. Let's see what the Tower is. What's the Tower? The High Priestess, something you know in your heart of hearts. To the Three of Cups, reuniting, brings you celebration. Oh my God, look at this down here, you guys. Celebration, the Four of Wands, structure, foundation, stability, and the Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. That's the tower. To the Empress, the Empress, a Taurus, a Libra. Tell me about the Empress, please. Is this the target of Scorpio's epiphany right here? Who is this Empress? Who is this Empress right here? Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a new opportunity. Yep, that's who you're going for right there. Prince of Wands in reverse. Uh, okay, to the King of Swords, got it. Prince of Cups, got it. Princess of Pentacles, got it. I don't know what that's about right there. Okay, well, let's see. Nine of Swords in reverse. Uh, painful lesson. Three of Swords, Grief. And I think this is uh, goes back to the High Priestess right here. Uh, the Two of Cups, right, has been a challenge, right? Six of Swords because you've been stuck in some kind of mentality. Can you tell me what this mentality is right here? What is this mentality with the Six of Swords in reverse? What's the mentality that Scorpio has been stuck in? What is the mentality? The Page of Swords. Oh, okay. To the six of unequal. Okay, okay, okay. To the sun and the world. Awesome. All right, Scorpio. We're going to timestamp this. We're going to go back up to the top. Excuse me while I fix my bra straps because it's a thing. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look away. You can look back now. So the Prince of Pentacles. Is this still going? Do I have plenty of battery? Okay. Prince of Pentacles. Right? Scorpio. Assessing the landscape of their future. To the Emperor. Looking out at the kingdom and 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 wanting to to create the kind of future that you are passionate about. Something that is important to you. The nine of pentacles, bringing the bullshit from the past to a culmination and moving forward into a, a direction that you believe is going to bring you success. The three of pentacles, teamwork and collaboration, teamwork and collaboration to the four of cups, contemplating how you can accomplish this. Teamwork and collaboration being the coming together of great minds, okay? The eight of cups, you're disappointed in whatever your situation is right now. You are, you're disappointed in it. Nine of cups in reverse, you're emotionally dissatisfied. Eight of cups again, reiterating your desire to abandon the burden and the struggle that your current situation is three of wands because you're looking into the future. You're looking into the future and you are sowing seeds, right? You're getting ready to make some kind of a change because you're tired of the way things are and you want better for yourself. Pulling on some inner reserves, right? Some inner reserves. Um, why? Because you're going to have to make some kind of decision in order to execute what it is that you want to manifest in your future. The moon is you in your intuition and in your subconscious mind and your feelings doing what Scorpio does, right? There you are right there. Doing what Scorpio does. Processing emotions, right? So you're processing emotions. You're pulling on a lot of inner reserves. Why? Because you have to make some kind of a huge decision that is going to, that's going to, um, usher in this new way of being that you want to be. What's the decision? You have to break up with somebody with the lovers in reverse in order to go towards the unified 
love that you want to take into your future here. King of Cups, you have a lot of love for this person. Five of Swords in reverse, and you're open to change. Why is this open to change? Well, because down here, you already know this person down here, right? So you have to break up with someone in order to move towards this other person because you're not happy with the way your life is and you want an overhaul. And whatever this decision is, is going to take you way long into your future. Okay. Ten of Cups in reverse. Back to up here. You got to break up with someone to make this happen. Broken home, broken family, right? Broken home, broken family. Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, frustrations and delays. Delaying, delaying. Delaying this breakup somehow, some way, but by any means, delaying this breakup, Five of Swords, is deception. Why is it deception? Because you know you're not going to go the long haul in your current situation because you have your sight set on a better future, right? And you know that staying in this relationship, that's why you're pulling on inner strength right there. You know that staying in this relationship um, is deceptive because you're, you don't have intentions to go forward with this person. Nine of Swords, it causes you a lot of grief and anxiety to the Seven of Swords because you don't want to be deceptive. You don't want to be deceptive to this person, but yet you also don't want to hurt them either, right? It's just a, it's just the matter of... If it makes you feel any better, Scorpio, that's what's dating and get to knowing someone is about. Now, if you've been married for 30 years, this doesn't apply to you, okay? But dating and getting to know someone, even living together, is a trial ground to see if this is someone that you truly want to make a future with. And there's no guilt or shame in coming to the conclusion that, you know what, I really like this person. I might even love them, but I just don't see the kind of life that I want to build for myself, including this person or this person's and their baggage in my future. There's nothing wrong with that. So feeling betrayal and deception, um, it's okay, Scorp. It, it, it's okay. I, I release you from that guilt, okay? But breaking up the sooner, sooner than later is the best course of action to take, right? Because you don't want to lead this person on. The moon in reverse, dealing with those repressed emotions, releasing your fear because you are at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads. What's the crossroads? You're looking into the future and you don't want to take this person into your future, but you got your eye on someone you do want to take into your future or at least give it a go. Ten of Swords in reverse. Thinking about resurrecting, healing something that was dead and gone. Okay. Resuscitating something that maybe never got off the ground something that perhaps you've been repressing or denying. Um, but this is regeneration. In the center of your reading, regeneration. The King of Swords, Scorpio making an affirmative, positive, truthful, honest decision. To the Queen of Wands, about someone other than who you're with right now. This is the person over here that you have to make the decision to break up with your current situation so you can pursue the Two of Cups because you've come to terms with your feelings about this person and you're, you want to change. You want to change the dynamics of what's happening in your life. And there that person is, the Queen of Wands to the Six of Swords. Um, this Queen of Wands could very well be someone who has taken a transition out of your life in the past. And the Six of Swords could be talking about you having to make a transition before you can approach this particular situation. Overwhelming challenge, Four of Swords, contemplating in a defensive posture what your next move is going to be about how to execute this situation right here. 
the lovers in reverse. There uh, was a misalignment of values between you and this Queen of Wands in the past. There was a breakup or a separation or you went your separate ways somehow, some way, because there was a misalignment of values. But Scorpio is coming in and saying, I was foolish. I was, I was naive about my feelings for this person. I was foolish to to think that whatever this misalignment of values is right here couldn't be overcome. It was an injustice to our relationship and to my feelings. I was I have been lying to myself about how I feel about this Queen of Wands. And now that I, I am assessing the landscape of my future and I'm realizing that my current situation is not something that I want to create a lifetime of, I'm coming to terms with the fact that who I do want to take into my future is someone that, I'm, that I still hold a flame for, where in the past, we couldn't come to terms with something. Now I see it was foolish and it was dishonest because I wasn't accepting my truth about the way that I feel about this person. And I let some kind of rift or some kind of difference come between us. And now I'm seeing things differently. Page of Wands in reverse to the Ace of Wands in reverse. The foolishness was that I did not pursue this when I had the opportunity per to pursue it. That's what you're saying right there, Scorpio. Could be vice versa. Could be some someone coming at you like that. General reading, but I'm reading from the Scorpio perspective because this is a Scorpio reading, okay? Queen of Swords. This is Scorpio making some serious decisions. Oh, please don't lose my battery up there. This is Scorpio making some very serious decisions with the Queen of Swords to the Ace of Cups. Decisions that validate Scorpio's feelings about this Queen of Wands. Scorpio is coming to terms with their feelings about the other person. Page of Pentacles comes in and talks about making a decision to manifest with this Queen of Wands, but they have to break up in their situation that they're in now, making a decision to manifest. The star right under the Queen of Wands in the decision of the King of Swords, right? And resurrection. Scorpio wants hope and faith and purpose and renewal with this Queen of Wands. Um, Scorpio sees purpose in their future with this Queen of Wands, and they want renewal of a relationship with this Queen of Wands. And the magician comes in and says, Scorpio is going to manifest it. The Scorpios, when Scorpio sets their mind to manifest something, just sit back and let it happen because there is no, there's no stopping a Scorpio. So Scorpio, if you've made up your mind that you're going to manifest with this Queen of Wands, as soon as you get out of your current situation, lo and behold, huh? Lo and behold, I might do an extended reading here just to see what your person is all about. We'll see. So. The Nine of Cups in reverse, emotional dissatisfaction, Ace of Wands in reverse, lacking ambition or focus, the Hanged Man in reverse, resistance, delay, stalling, Nine of Pentacles talking about reflecting and assessing um, um, the future, investment versus reward, resurrection, and temperance being tempered. So what is this saying? This is explaining this pocket right here, right? Where Scorpio went through the emotional process here of I was foolish, should have manifested when I had the opportunity. Nine of Cups in reverse. Ever since you, you passed on that opportunity right there, you've just been discontented in your emotions about how things went down between you. The Ace of Wands in reverse, your lack of motivation, right? The Hanged Man in reverse, your resistance to engage in this. Seven of Pentacles, now you're re 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 reassessing things, right? Now you're looking back and going, why exactly didn't I, what was the problem? What was the problem? Um, what do I need to address to clear my way to be able to go towards this Queen of Wands? Ten of Swords in reverse, resurrection, right? Healing and resurrection, reflecting and assessing on why this ended in the first place. To temperance, 
Now I'm ready to heal whatever was the problem. Now I'm ready to address it. I've grown, I've matured, and I see purpose in this situation. Four of Cups in reverse. Um, stubborn, right? This is Scorpio being stubborn about whatever this difference is here, this misalignment of values. Scorpio's been stubborn about it to the Queen of Cups, but they can't deny their feelings. You can't deny your feelings, Scorpio. To the Tower. This is upheaval and chaos in your life. Upheaval and chaos. Hence, right here. This is an epiphany, an awakening. This just rocks your world. The awakening that you do have feelings for this Queen of Wands and you do want to explore a relationship with this Queen of Wands. High Priestess, it's a tower moment in your spiritual growth, Scorpio. It's a tower moment in your spiritual growth. And you're like, oh my God, wow. Why didn't I see this before? Maybe you weren't ready. Maybe they weren't ready. Divine orchestration, right, Scorps? Divine orchestration. Now is the time. Now and only now is the time. The High Priestess, following your intuition in your heart of hearts and your soul of souls, you have had a tower moment about your feelings for the Queen of Wands. Three of Cups, you're going to reunite. You're going to, you, you want to reunite. You want to talk things out. The thought of reuniting and talking things out fills you with joy. The Four of Wands, hoping for structure, foundation, stability. You're going to go all in here, Scorpio, and that's what Scorpio does. When Scorpio decides to go all in, they go all in. You're going all in here, Scorps, with the Four of Wands. Structure, foundation, harmony, possibly a wedding, possibly moving in together. The Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. You will accept nothing less than your Empress. This is the target. This is the Queen of Wands right here. This is who it is that you have your scope set on right there with the Empress. The Ace of Pentacles, and you're going to create, you're going to manifest a brand new beginning with this person. Prince of Wands in reverse. Um, this is frustrations and delays. All back here, right? The frustrations and the delays. Why? How come? Divine intervention, divine timing. King of Swords. Frustrations and delays that you are now and only now prepared to deal with. Okay, whatever was the issue between the two of you, only now and now are you prepared to deal with it. The high priestess is your spiritual, um, your ascension, understanding that perhaps there's something more to the connection between the two of you of a, of a spiritual level. The Queen of Wands, you know, she's a spiritual, she's a spiritual chick right there. Queen of Wands is a tarot card reader. Queen of Wands is a psychic. Queen of Wands is, is somebody that has, that it just exudes, um, power in, in their countenance, right? You got it for this Queen of Wands and you're making the decision with the King of Swords right here that you're not going to let this get away again. Prince of Cups, there you are with your messages. Your messages to the Queen of Wands, to the Princess of Pentacles of creation, right? Nine of Swords in reverse. Last time, last go round to the Three of Swords in reverse. Last go round was a painful lesson for you, Scorpio. Like I said, could be vice versa, could be them. But it was a painful lesson for you, Scorpio. Two of Cups, you ain't going to let that shit get away now. You're not going to let it get away. You've made some kind of determination that this is who you're going after and you're doing it. Seven of Wands, a challenge. Six of Swords, stuck, can't move on. That was your challenge from the past. That's why you never went for or towards this person um, since the last go-round. Um, this could be brand new, too. I mean, it could be totally brand new. Don't get me wrong. I just see a lot of indications, hence regeneration, right? You don't have to regenerate with somebody that's new. But this could be new for you as well, right? But but your challenge was that you were stuck in a mentality that kept you from going towards this person, and you're done with that. Page of Swords, you're going to communicate. You're going to communicate with this person to the Six of Pentacles, um, and you want to give and receive and share and build something. 
the sun, happiness, success, and vitality. You see happiness in this spirit with Major Arcana says there's happiness in this and the world closing out this cycle of your life and moving in to this cycle of your life, Scorpio. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. This is a beautiful reading. Scorpio, go with your heart. There's, it doesn't matter if there's differences between you and this person. Deal with what the misalignment of values that was in the past between you and go for it, Scorpio. Don't settle for a mediocre, mediocre life because that's what people expect or this is who's best for you or this is who is, who everybody accepts. You go for your heart, Scorpio, and you go get that freaky chick or that freaky dude. You go get that person that doesn't fit in the box. You go get that person that you did not manifest with in the past because there was some fear of some difference or some kind of judgment or some kind of, some kind of backlash from whatever or whoever. You go get that person that makes your heart go bitty bitty bang bang boom, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Namaste.